Now, when did you first become aware of HBCUs? Um, like maybe 10th, 10th grade. Um, you know, I knew like Howard just cause I feel like everyone knows Howard cause you know, so many people just shout out Howard all the time. Um, but my friend who's two years, who's two grades above me, she was, I basically called her my sister. Like, we were always together. She always made sure I was doing all right in school. And she, um, she's at Hampton as well. Okay. Um, so that's when I heard of Hampton. And then all the girls, one grade above me, they, most of them went to an HBCU as well. And okay. that's kind of how I got, you know, got started. Cause a lot of them would come back. Like you should really go to an HBCU. Like you'll love it. I'm like, you know, I trust you guys. So I'm looking into it. I looked into them and I, you know, I just was like, all right, that's, I think that's the way to go. Um, my baseball coach, he, he preaches, you know, knowing your, your history and your background. Um, so he sat us down when we were like 10, 11 and had us watch like the roots. Um, and then when we were 14, he had us watch the roots again and then watch Selma and all the, you know, like glory, a bunch of movies that were just about African Americans and, you know, to learn our history. And then that's like when I was like, all right, yeah, like, I think the HBCU is the way to go just because I love learning about civil rights and hearing stories about that. So I just figure, you know, that's, I think that's the way to go for me. All right. That makes sense. Now why Hampton and I'll, my sister went to Hampton. So when I was in the fifth grade, well, fourth grade, then I was about to go to fifth grade. She went to Hampton. So in the fifth grade, you know, you're still kind of young. I really mm -hmm. didn't know. Then we would go down there during siblings weekend from fifth to eighth grade. And then by the time I was in the eighth grade, I really knew I'm like, yeah, this is this is where I'm, you know, I want to go to a HBCU. So I ended up going to the fam, going to FAMU. But Hampton mm -hmm. was like my first introduction to HBCU. So Hampton, you know, holds a special place in my heart. So why did you decide to go to Hampton? Um, so I decided to uh, do softball um, and summer going into senior year and that's a whole story in itself how I you know transitioned to softball but um I decided to that I wanted to do softball and I told my coach and then told my parents and me and my coach sat down and we looked at a bunch of different schools in each conference um and we decided let's just go for it because at that time a lot of these schools already have their 2019 commits so we were just like, all right, let's just see how this is going to go. We sent out a bunch of emails to coaches. You know, we got a few emails back. A lot of them were saying, uh, you know, thanks for the email and for the interest. But we already have our, you know, 2019 signed. Um, right. But then Hampton and Bethune-Cookman got back to me, and they were just like, oh, we'd love to have you come down, come to a camp and everything. And, um, and you know, I went to homecoming. Um, and that was just amazing for me. I was like, I love it. Um, and then I came back down for, so I went to, I came for camp and then I came down for homecoming. And then this Sunday I got to go to the Scripps building and I got to, you know, tour the Scripps building, talk to the Dean. And I was like, I think this, this might be set in stone. Um, and I kind of waited. I didn't really, I didn't talk to the, um, to coach Angie, um, I didn't really talk to anybody else. Like I just kept it to myself and, you know, just kind of going through like, all right, this is a plus, this is a plus. And I was like, so they have a great journalism program. That's, that's a plus for me. I'm like, it's only five and a half hours away, five hours away. That's another plus. And I knew a bunch of people in the area who were very good family friends. So if I ever needed anything, I could just call them. And I was like, that's a big plus. And I was like, I think that's the way to go. And that's how I got in, got, you know, got started at Hampton.